All right, that's an interesting position. Let's walk out over here. Thank you. Yes. Hey, folks. Welcome to Rome Caesar's Will, episode 11. And two things. One, you might hear the emergency alarm on my cell phone go off. I'm on the East Coast, quite near to the ocean. There's flooding, and I think there's been a, a, a warning that there might be tornadoes in the area. So if you hear it go off, nothing I can do about that. I don't plan to go hide any place. I live in a condo. Two, I've already played episode 11. I played it for a half hour, and then it froze and I had to reboot the computer. I just spent time cleaning the computer, checking for viruses, you know, optimizing it, all that. It does mean, though, that this episode is going to seem a little fast. I'm going to seem to know where everything is. But I did find out the hard way where everything was during the last uh, half hour. Well, actually, more like an hour ago. So I'm redoing this. So it's going to seem I'm doing this fast. And I will try to because I'm afraid it might freeze again. So first, we are at the tavern. The first place we want to visit is right here. Now, I actually should have found this item on the first act. It, it's also it's there on the first act, but it's also there on the second act if you don't find it. The reason I didn't see it is because I didn't see this angle in the first act, and I only noticed this on the first play of episode 11. It is a translation for let me show you Egyptian hieroglyphics. I think I completely butchered that. But don't worry. You don't have to look at it back and forth. You just have to use it. If you place the locket on the un of the unknown sun in the navel of her who is covered in gold, she will reveal her innermost secrets to you. In other words, the statue of Cleopatra in the temple of Venus, which is now open. Now, I think this is timed. In other words, I might not be able to open the statue until I've gone and come back again. Here so in Rome, and in the temple of his family's patron goddess, Caesar dared to put up a statue of Cleopatra, his mistress, queen of a conquered country. A golden statue, too. What madness. Caesar and Cleopatra. Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. It doesn't matter how you put it. She was doomed because she was a woman, she was a monarch, and she was powerful. And a foreigner. No matter how you put it, the Romans wouldn't have liked her. And this little piece of information is a letter from Caesar to Mark Anthony that talks about him gosh I have so many letters being Brutus's father so now I'm gonna do what I did last time no. Come on. We're going to talk to him. Greetings, Spirina. The further I get with my inquiries into Titinius's death, the more convinced I am that it is linked by many threads to the conspiracy against Caesar. Could you ask the gods about it? The gods will not speak without some offering. How much is it for a consultation of the omens? 
1,000 sesterces. I paid last time, so I'm paying this time. There you are. I'm listening. On a lonely beach, the blood will soon flow from an eloquent throat, and the rostra will be decorated with an appalling trophy. Hmm. It's not exactly as clear as crystal. Can you help me out? It's up to you to make something of this prophecy, Hercules. I know what it means. Do you know what it means? Mm. Okay, what else did I do that actually made some sense? Okay, I did go there and I talked to the guard. I don't know what he was talking about. And I don't know what my character was talking about. But he seems for some reason to think he needs to get in a temple. Which was perfectly accessible last time. But, for some reason, this time it is not. I have to get into the Temple of Saturn. It's an urgent matter about money. If you've come to get hold of some money, greet my palm with some of it. Otherwise, nothing doing. Yeah, okay. I don't know anything. I accidentally talked to him like that, and I was like, well, I don't even know what that means. What am I talking about? So there's something in here I may need, but there's so many puzzles in this game that sometimes don't even relate to anything but I do have now see I came here because I thought I'd meet Brutus to show him the letter from Caesar but he wasn't available and one of the things I did do was I went to see if Cicero's around uh, to see if I could get more information or maybe even warn him I mean maybe if I warned him he would help me because I know they're coming to get him all I found was this guy here, who is his freed slave and secretary. And I was astonished, because he's the only person here. Uh, I was astonished. Tyron, are you the only one left in the house? You never said a truer word. We are in Hades now. The three judges of the underworld have turned the fatal urn, and Cicero's name has fallen out. What can I do to help him, or you? I fear they'll be searching in his Palatine villa. Here are documents that must not fall into the wrong hands. Can I entrust them to you? Think carefully before agreeing. If you are caught with them, you could be in great danger. What are these documents? Mainly letters addressed to Brutus. Here are the parchments in question. I will prove myself worthy of your trust, and that of the old senator. Rest assured, these letters are in good hands. Okay, the problem... Okay, so this is a letter from Brutus to Cicero. Talking about killing Caesar and even doing it if he was his own father. And Cicero basically says, uh, yeah, he kind of is your own father. Yeah. So he's like, uh, you did kill your father. <laughs> so I then went to, uh, to Tinius, his house, more out of curiosity than anything else. And I ran into a, a, a servant or a slave I didn't even know existed. Is she around? There she is. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, Good day, sir. I was passing by. Still no news. Nothing to Curian. No more masters to serve, no more staff. The praetors sold several slaves in the market. And some were taken on as public slaves. Poor things. The cleverest ones ran away or offered their services elsewhere. As for me, I'm taking care of the Domus. Uh, usually if a master was killed, the slaves were tortured for questioning. 
and then themselves usually murdered afterwards. I mean, they found the person who they thought was to blame, but now there's question about whether she's to blame or not. I mean, I might have proven her less guilty. What, what are you doing? This is the door I'm putting at. I mean, of course, they like, I, like she said, they not thinking that the slaves themselves were guilty, and they might have just questioned them and then sold them. Why is the guard still here, and why is he inside? All right. Well, you'll see soon. Oh, I'm not going to put my hand in there. Come on. You'll see who's here now. That's right. One of the vultures. You stop running around. Stop running around. Why are you here? Octavian, what are you doing in this sad, ill-fated house? Yes, it is a sad house, isn't it? And to think that that fine man Titinius is no more. Did you know him? We met in Greece once. And his wife? His wife? In Greece? That's another story. Ha ha ha. But why is he in this house? Is he looking for documents? Let's be a little more direct. Ah, Octavian. Have you been instructed to search this house too? And you? Are you sure you've been looking thoroughly yourself? I advise you to do a bit of searching around Arsinoe, Cleopatra's serving woman and nursemaid to Caesarian. Does her presence here puzzle you? She was very close to... Yes, I know. Scribonius is the secretary. But above all, she was Cleopatra's nursemaid. And whatever Cleopatra says, Mark Antony says too. Mark Antony must be mixed up in all this, believe me. You seem very suspicious. Yet he's been your ally for some time. If I've become Mark Antony's ally, it's like ivy attaching itself to a tree. The better to suffocate it. That's actually more than I got last time, so a little confusing. Why is he in this house? Was he looking for the documents that... Hmm. All right, well, I think it's time to find uh, Brutus, to be honest. And I kind of know where he is. He's hiding out. And uh, I'm going to ignore that guy and just go for the boat. There I go. All right. Let's see. Now this is where things got a little choppy. This is where my game froze up, and I had to completely reboot. So let's, uh, yes, what's, always going in circles always makes me feel like the game's not going to crash. That's great. <laughs> All right, I plan to show him the letter uh, from Caesar to Mark Anthony, and then we'll have a little discussion, shall we? Because that's got to prove who's his father. My hints left him cold. Wow. So that did nothing? Caesar himself? Brutus, you, here on this island. Not long ago, you could have had some very nasty encounters here. I know. This is where the Triumvirs sealed their evil pact. But there is no safer place at present, and we are far from Rome, on a river route, ideal for a secret meeting. Who could you be waiting for in such a place? Nobody comes here anymore. An Egyptian trireme. Cleopatra. But that woman's a serpent. 
Serpents are cold-blooded. She loves Antony, but she loves her country and power even more. She is hesitating in the war between the Triumvirs and the Republicans. I need her support. If you had her support, would you have her loyalty? I know, I know. They say she took advantage of Caesar and Mark Antony, passing from one bed to the other and back again without Caesar even noticing. And you think she'll come? If she doesn't, I will find her later at the port of Ostia. But that will be far more difficult and dangerous. Be careful. And I got the same response as I did last time. He seemed not interested at all at the letter from Caesar to Mark Anthony, suggesting that, or telling Mark Anthony that Caesar was Brutus's father. On the other hand, now I have a new area to visit next episode, the port. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I'll be able to actually upload this and it doesn't crash before I stop recording. Be good. Stay away from the tornadoes.